I'm Clara. The topic of the whole August will be zip code alarms and the solution. Actually, if we can tell more specifically, it should be the BCS 100 head controller alarms for the whole month. Last week, we talked about the solution for the alarm network timeout. Have you checked it? The link is up here. Please check it for more. Today, we are going to find the solution for the alarm capacity is zero. Here, please make sure your cutting system is zip cut. If no, probably the video is not what you want. Any doubt or question, please leave it in the comment below. I will try to reply you as soon as possible. Before getting to the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. Thanks a lot. Let's take 20 seconds to see the map. Today's video is according to this structure. When the system cannot check the capacity, the capacity value is shown as zero on the screen of head controller. We first need to unscrew the end of the RF wear that connects the sensor and the ceramic ring. The RF wear here refers to the signal wear connecting the ceramic ring sensor and the amplifier. It's some kind of orange color or white, like the pictures shown here. After unscrewing, we need to observe whether the capacity save value on the head controller is zero. If the save value is not zero anymore, at this time, the head controller will generally alarm and the alarm content is local capacity small. From it, we can judge that the problem is in the sensor part of the cutting head. We need to check the thermic ring and whether there is a short circuit in the internal connection. If possible, the entire sensor part can be replaced. The pictures I have here are just for reference. Please refer to the instruction manual of the actual cutting head for the specific removal and installation. If the save value is still zero in head controller, we need to check the RF wear whether it is the original one from zip cut. If it's not the original zip card RF wear, please replace with an original one and try again. If it's the original zip card RF wear, we need to remove the RF wear and use a multimeter to measure the inner core wear and outer casing of the RF wear. Checking whether the test result is both ends of the inner core wear are conducting, both ends of the casing are conducting, and the inner core wear and the outer casing are not conducting. If the test result is not like the above content, the RF wear is damaged. Please replace one and try again. If the test result is exactly the same as the above shows, we need to find the cord cable connecting the amplifier and the head controller. It should be in green color, like the picture shows here. We should take the cable down and use a multimeter to measure the two ends, checking whether they are conducting one by one and not conducting each other. If the 
as the result shows there's a short circuit or breakage, we need to replace a cord cable and try again. If the cord cable is tested to be super fine, we need to check whether the power input of the head controller is 24 volt. If the power input is abnormal, we need to adjust the power input or connect an independent switching power supply to the head controller. If the power input is fine, we need to try changing the amplifier. And if that doesn't work, we need to replace the height controller. Is the alarm gun and the machine working normally? If the problem is still there, two options. If your laser is still under warranty, please contact your supplier for a customized problem solution. If your machine is out of warranty, trust me and come to me. My contact information is here. It's not free, but it's worth every penny. Next week, we are going to introduce the solution for the alarm Z Soft Limit Valid. Please keep your focus on us. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.